Like this. One by zero is infinite. Not one by zero is one. Look. One by zero is infinite. So zero is very small number. So if you divide anything by small, very small number, it will be like very large number. If it is zero, then it will be like infinite. One by zero is infinite. Is not equal. Anirudh, you need to practice more. Yeah? Zero plus x equal to ten. Then x is not ten by zero. Hmm? X is one by one is ten. Hmm? Are you two minutes or over? Show me. No, you asked two minutes. Okay? So the, this one we copy. Not copying, that is wrong. Wronger. Okay, anyway, show me what you have done. X is 3.2. Now only started. Huh? Okay, that's fine. But whatever you don't have doubt, you should have done it. Show me. Okay. It will be very serious for you. Next time, don't come to class. Why you have done anything? You want to learn or you want to enjoy here in the class? You want to make some comedy and make the people to laugh? You are a comedian in the class? Or you came here to study? And why you are not doing anything? anything? All are doing, why you are not doing? The he also done something. Right? So, what you have done? That's good. You did something now. Right. Show me, Rohit, what you have done. Huh? All, eh? Yeah. Very good. One, three, four, yeah. Hmm. Give me textbook, someone. Uh, I'll do give me. Hari, if you don't do, so, like, uh, you won't learn anything. Okay. It's a waste of coming to class. It's not a free class, no? You're paying, right? And why you're not doing anything? Every day you're telling something, something, something. One day is fine, but every day it should not be like this. Next time I won't accept. Whatever homework I'm giving, you should do it. Is it for doing? I'm, I'm telling for my own self. Is it benefiting me that if you do it, it will benefit me or it, it will benefit you? Then you should do for yourself, no? Let's say if you study well, it will benefit me or benefit you? You only, right? So it is your life. You need to study. Right? Whose book uh, is the latest one? You have latest one? Yeah. <laughs>
This is the latest one. You have your book here. Yeah? yeah, you got it. Yeah? Maybe you can give it to her. I'll show it. Hurry, I'm telling for your benefit only. Okay, understand me. Hello? Any doubts? Like while you're solving, do you have, do you have any doubts? Like things are clear. <clears throat> Any doubt? Any doubt in while while you're solving? Did you get any doubt or something? Sorry? Not even the new. But what is three? This three point one is that only, no? These are uh, these are the, these are that only. That that is, I think, in the in the old book it is a three point two. I think in the new one it's a three point one. Is it? Yes. See this one? This is 3.2 in the old book. 3.1. So here it's 3.1, right? Same things only, right? Yeah, same things only. Yes. Hmm? What is the second subdivision? Hmm. Yeah. The whole old book it won't be like this, but still cross subdivision and separate rows will be the same, but after that it won't be like this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so it's situation okay. three point one. So did you understand the fifth sum? Three point. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. How is it? Fifth sum. Try it. Fifth sum. Huh? Fifth sum. Hmm? They said that half the perimeter of. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? What is the perimeter of the rectangle? So it's a it's a L B. What is this one? This is this side also L. This side is also B. Perimeter is this total length is called perimeter, right? Perimeter is equal to 2L plus 2B, right? Equal to 2 into L plus. So what, what they are telling in the question? Can you read the question? So of the perimeter, right? Perimeter of the rectangle garden. Uh, length is four meter. Whose length is four meter? Half the perimeter of the rectangle garden. No, they are saying like uh, half the perimeter of the rectangular garden is uh, 34, is it? 36. That's what they are telling. And they are telling length uh, length is uh, 4 meter more than its width. Length is equal to B plus 4. It's not 4B. Yeah, it's a 4 meter more. Yeah, it's not a 4 times. It is a 4 times, then it's a 4B. Otherwise, it's a B plus four. Yeah. L equal to B plus four. 
Ah, half in so L plus B equal to thirty-six, right? Yeah. So L minus B equal to four. Yeah. So if you sum up both of them, two L equal to forty. L equal to twenty. Yeah. B equal to sixty. L plus B, L minus B. Okay, I'll say the method to solve it. Otherwise, you can plot it in the graph also. Okay. Graph, you can plot it. Can you plot this one in the graph? L plus B. Take L equal to X and X plus Y equal to 636. X minus Y equal to 4. Plot this. The graph. Yeah. Hurry, plot it. X plus Y equal to 36. Minus uh, y equal to four. Y equal to ten. Equal to six. That is very twenty comma sixteen. Very. Prince, where is your exercise? What did you do? Show me. Okay, what have you heard? I'm sorry. Hmm. Then, yeah, who's? Oh, this is your. Okay, yours. Hmm. Which one you have done? Yes. Substitution. Substitution. We, we, it was not taught, no. Substitution. Okay, you thought x is 3.8. Okay. Can you quickly plot these graphs? Fast. Should not be so. Prince, come and plot on the board. Come. Do the calculations here. Come, 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 come. Fast, fast. Then, you, then only we will learn. Right? Other, come. Throw his plot here. First, find out it has a unique solution or no solution or many solutions. So it has unique solution, right? A1 by B1 not equal to A2 by B2. That's why it has a unique solution. Two, two are enough here. Yeah? So, so, so three is also can do, but waste of time. Two is enough, yeah.
अरे गेम नहीं है ग्राफ It won't pass through or is it? Mm -hmm. Just join this video. Access is not accessible. Label the line code. Tell me, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Label the line code. And long day, hello. Like that, it is not in. It's the same line only. Same line only. Don't be a dash. We are using same accent, or same amount. Okay, let's see how cheap they are now. Yeah. Hmm. Name the graphs of L plus B equal 36, which is the L plus B equal 36. I think somewhere it's wrong, yeah, Koshik? But they're not meeting, right? Yeah. Hmm. They should meet, no? It has any solution, right? Yes, mm -hmm. Show me your calculations. For L equal to 20, B equal to 16. Yeah. For L equal to 20, B equal to 12. Okay. Then L minus B equal to 4, 10, 6. This is 12, 8. 10, 6, 12, 8. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. go to four. Check the graph. Ten comma six. I think we made some mistake. Ten six times. Yeah. And it doesn't. Be clear. How many values you got? 16 to. This is, this is, this is for L minus B? Yeah. Good. You got your sent, yes? Hmm. Yeah? Right? Now it's right. 20 comma? Ah, yeah, some.
two points are enough yeah don't take three points it will make you confused yeah because just you are joining the line no but there is no wrong in taking any points but there is no use also unnecessarily use. The door fully closed, closed here. And it will plus B equal to how much? See the notebook answer. L minus B. We take L equal to 4. B is how much? L plus B equal to 36. 4 plus B equal to 36. How much is B? 36. Minus 4. And it is the need to practice it. Otherwise, we'll forget. Yeah. It is, it is uh, just it's a simple thing, no? Let's say if it is x plus y equal to some 10, then y is x, 10 minus x, not 10 by x. Yeah? The summation, so if it goes that side, it will become different. Yeah? Let's say 2x equal to 10. Then it's a multiplication here. Then it will become division. 10 by 2. It's a very simple thing. Yeah. So B equal to 36 minus. So B equal to how much? B equal to? Huh? 36 minus 4. 30? Now take L equal to 8. L equal to 8. So now 8 plus B equal to? B equal to? What is it? Same thing, I wrote. Same thing. Ah, that is minus eight. How much B? Thirty three, yeah. Thirty six minus eight is how much? Eight. How much are you? Twenty. Right? Well, tell me this one, L minus B equal to 4. Take B equal to 0. How much is L? L minus 0 equal to 4, L equal to? 4. 4 plus 0 equal to? Now take 0, 0, 4, 5. Now take L equal B equal to 4. L minus B equal to 4. L minus 4 equal to 4. L equal to? Hmm? It will become? A simple thing, I know. If it is minus, it will become plus here if it comes. If it is plus here, it will become minus. There is nothing to think about so much. Yeah? If it is minus here, if it comes, this side will become plus. 
So tell me, L equal to? Yeah, very simple. L equal to eight. So eight. Give me graph. Where is your graph? Mm, the dose much is not there. Give me scale. Sorry. Oh. Based on the values, you need to keep this one, yeah? Based on the values, you need to shift the axis. So if you have no negative values, if you have no negative values, then you can completely bring axis here. Yeah? Because no negative values are there. Based on the values, you need to shift the axis. So now we have like 4, 8, 28, 32. These are all multiples of 4, right? So it's better to take scale as four. Scale as these are also multiples of four. So now take scale as four. Clear? Four, eight, twelve. That's it. X is still maximum value of X is eight. So what is the maximum value of Y? Thirty-two. Right? I mean four, eight. 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. Okay. Now, what is the first value? 4, comma. <laughs> this is L, yeah? <clears throat> this is B. So L, first, first is 4, comma. 32. Where it will come? L is 4, B is 32. Means this is the point. Clear? Next is 8, 28. 8, 28, it will come here. Okay. Now you just join those. <coughs> This is graph one. X is four comma zero. Where is four comma zero? L is four. Y is zero. Is eight. Right. Next is eight comma four. L is eight. Y is four. Here. Okay. Now if you join them. Now is around this, which is is sixteen, right? Is it right? Now where it went wrong? What is x value? What is l value? What is b value? L is what is the solution? Show it. 20 comma 16. Somewhere that wrong. The equation right. N minus B equal to 4. Right? 
Tamam. Four comma thirty two. I kept four comma thirty six. Four comma thirty two, right? Four comma thirty two. Now this is a solution, which is 20, which is 60, 20 gamma, 20. okay, this is good for yours, just the rub and the, the correct, wrong one, clear? So no more, with the graphs, you're clear, right? You need to practice more. Whoever is not clear, practice more. Yeah? So L is fine. Yeah. You can consider whichever is X, not an issue. You can take P is also X, you can take L is also X. Not a problem. So today we see the sub substitution method, right? Sorry? Yes, substitution, right? <clears throat> So, so now we are looking at solving the pair of linear equation. So one method we have seen is how to solve it using graphical method. Now we'll be using algebraic, right? Algebraic method of solving pair of linear equations. So there are two methods mentioned. Not so clear, yeah. So we look at algebraic methods of solving the pair of linear equations. Yeah. So there are two methods. One is a substitution method, other is the elimination method. So today we look at a substitution method. Very easy, okay. These are very easy. So, do you have this one in your ninth also? No, right? So, let's say I take one sum 7x minus 5y equal to 2. Yeah. x plus 2y equal to 3. Now, what we are saying, it's a substitution method. What is this method called? Substitution. Yeah, substitution method, right? What we do is, uh, so let's say from here, what is x value? And it is x equal to, this is equation one, equation two. From this, what is x? Huh? This is 2y, right? X is x plus 2y equal to 3. What is x value in terms of y? This is an equation x plus 2y equal to 3. What is x from here? It is plus 2y. This go this side, it will become minus 2y, x equal to 3 minus 2 Yeah. Now we take this x and substitute here. That's why we are calling it as a substitution method. We take same x and substitute in the equation 1. From wherever you can take. From equation 1, you can take x and substitute in equation 2. Or from equation 2, you can take a substitute in equation. Because here it's a directly x, there is no coefficient. That's why easy to take a x. 
So that's why I'm doing it, right? Now we have this x minus two x equal to three minus two. Let's call it as equation three. What is equation one? Seven x phi y is equal to two. Yeah. So now we have x value equal to three minus two y. Seven into bracket three minus, three minus two y minus phi y. Good. Yeah. Now you divide this. You like take it inside seven, right? Seven into three minus seven into two y minus phi y equal to seven into twenty one fourteen y. 21 minus 19 y equal to 2. Right? 19 minus 19y equal to minus 90. Clear? Y equal to 19 by 19. Now you got a y value. So from any of the equations, we can get x. Right? So which is good to substitute? I can substitute an equation or an equation 2. I can sub. I can substitute in one, also I can substitute in two. But you should you need to find it out very easy, easy to get it. Let's say if I take x plus two y equal to three, it's easy, no? Just uh, if it's seven x minus five, I need to multiply it. So, so it's a what is the y value? X plus two into one equal to three. Yeah, x. X equal to one. Y is also one. Now you verify. Once you've done it, you need to verify it. How you can verify it? What is the way to verification? Good. Substituting these x and y values, the equation one and equation two. Both must satisfy. So what is first equation? 7x minus 5y equal to 2. What is x value? 1. Y value? What is it? 7, 7 minus 5 is 2. So it is, it is satisfied. So one verification is done. The next one, x plus 2y equal to 3. x plus 2y equal to 3. Now, substitute x plus 2y. 1 plus 2. Again, 3. Once you get the values, you need to verify. Yeah? That's the way, that's why it's a substitution method. Clear? So, first, uh, you can get x value also, y value also, no problem. Yeah, you can substitute, you can get here x also, y also. Let's say, now I will do the same sum taking y. So with, with the with the with the experience, we'll get to know which is easy to do. Yeah, if, if I take something, then it, it will be a bit complicated to solve. Complicated means like it will take some time. Yeah. So what is the equation again? Seven x. Two x plus two y equal to three. Right. Now, yeah. From here get y value. From equation two get y value. Did you tell me? Two y equal to y equal to 3 minus x by 2. Yeah, this is the let's say equation there. Now we take this one and substitute here. Clear? Yeah. 7x minus y. y is 3 minus x by 2. Equal to 2. Yeah? 7x take 5 inside. Yeah? Let's say take out 1 by 2 inside. By 2. 15 minus 5x. Equal to so now we can do LCM, right? 14x minus 15 minus 5x equal to 2. Yeah. 14x minus 5x is how much? 9x 15 by 2. Is it something wrong? Somewhere wrong? Oh, minus 15 plus, yeah. Minus. If you take minus, minus plus, no? Here. So this is 19 plus 5 is 
14 plus 9 is 19. Yeah, 19x minus 15 equal to 4. 19x equal to 19. X equal to. Now substitute again. Equation one or equation two. X equal to one. So x plus two y equal to. So let's say, let's say now substitute in equation one. Okay, seven x minus five y equal to. Now seven minus five y equal to two. Five y equal to seven minus two. Five y equal to pi. Y equal to. The same as x equal to one. Y equal to one. Now I'll try to get the x values from here. Okay. Now we got x from here. First, first in first, we got x from here and substitute in equation one. Ne next time we got y from here and substitute again in equation one. Now I'll get x from here and substitute in equation. One. Okay. Two. Okay. Now. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, go on. Seven x. Oh, again, again, writing down one more time. Yeah, seven x minus five equal to one x plus two y equal to three. Now we are taking equation one and getting. A, I want to get x value. What is? How can you get? What is x value? Seven x equal to two plus five y. X equal to two plus five y. So now substitute this one in equation two. We should not substitute it again in the equation one. Then you will get what? Good. This is. Yeah. We need to take from equation one or equation two and substitute in other equation. So now I am substituting here, right? Two plus five y by seven plus two y equal to three. Now seven, right? Two plus five y plus how much? Seven into two y fourteen. Yeah, two plus nineteen y equal to three into seven twenty one. Nineteen y equal to twenty one minus two equal to nineteen. Y equal to one. Now substitute this one in this one or this one also. Okay, let's substitute in equation one. Seven x minus five y equal to two. Y equal to one means seven x minus five equal to two. Seven x equal to seven. X equal to one. Or substitute in this equation. X plus two into one equal to three. X equal to one. Okay, so what is the one more remaining? What what else? Good. Finding the y value from 